reach those arms up to those fingertips, <laughs> dropping your shoulders. After the uh, pass, uh, my quads! My quads! <laughs> what is up, you guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, today's video is going to be a tad bit different. I have never done this before, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I was scrolling through my feed on YouTube and I saw someone do some type of video like this, like a celebrity workout review type thing. And I was like, I'm so gonna do that. Who am I gonna do first? You guys already know. I'm gonna do Selena Gomez because who doesn't like Selena Gomez? I mean, I remember watching Wizards of Waverly Place whenever I was younger and I just, Love Selena, I wanted to be Selena, so today we are going to try to look like Selena. Mm-hmm, I said it. So there is a, <coughs> there's a YouTube video on Selena Gomez's trainer who takes us through a 30 minute workout that Selena does. So I am about to do that like right now, right here. Just by looking at the video, I kind of like skimmed through it. I didn't watch all of it, but I just skimmed through it and I'm just like, kind of judging a book by its cover right now. I'm just like, I don't know how I feel about this. If you guys follow me on YouTube and you guys follow my workouts or if you guys purchased my Bubble Booty Volume Uno or Dos or my upper body one, you guys know how intense my workouts are. I superset everything and it's like not body weight stuff. It's usually, you know, lift heavy and supersets and drop sets and all that fun stuff. So I'm kind of like, Eh, about it. I don't know. It might just be my warm up for today's leg workout, or it might actually be an addition to my leg workout. I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm actually kind of excited to give it a go, give it a try, and just see how my legs feel at the end of it. If you're a stay at home mom, or if you're in college and don't have time to go to the gym, or maybe you just can't afford a gym membership right now, then you can definitely do this bad boy at home because you don't really need much equipment. So if you don't have equipment, you don't have a gym membership, you don't have time to go anywhere, and you could just do it at home, this is probably gonna work best for you. So let's go ahead and give it a go, see how it goes, see how we feel. I love Selena, I wanna be Selena. Let's do this. Your shoulders aren't up by your neck, good. Through your fingertips, through those heels, sitting deep. This is for your glutes. So to begin this little 30 minute workout, Selena's trainer had us do 50 repetitions of some just regular old air squats, as you guys can see, which I'm not gonna lie, I got a pretty decent quad pump after I completed them, like it was ridiculous. <laughs> but what I found very interesting is that she kept saying this was for your glutes, when in all honesty, it's not at all. That's not the case for this, you're just focusing on your quads because you're not going all the way up and squeezing your glutes and activating your glutes properly, so you're not really engaging your glutes whatsoever which is totally cool because you know we get a good little quad burner while doing this so it's totally fine but after you complete those 50 she had us do 50 more but instead of doing air squats you're gonna be doing pulsing air squats really going through those heels we're gonna do 50 of these so remember to hold your arms it's an arm workout too if you don't know yeah yeah <laughs> i was like wait we're even arms up here yeah okay good after that little mini squat session, she had us do a little stretching before jumping into the next thing, which by the way, stretching is literally key. If you guys do not stretch before and after your workout, that must change and you guys need to start stretching. Literally, stretching is key because it keeps the muscles flexible, strong, healthy, and we need that flexibility to maintain a range of motion in our joints. So please, 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 please do it. Do it for your body. Do it for your bones. Do it for your joints. Don't forget to stretch and foam roll. Extend to that toe. Ooh. 20 more. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. So after you've completed all the stretches, she had us get up and do 30 kickbacks on each side with our arms held up. Which, P.S., I really, 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 really liked how she had us lift up our arms the entire time because my shoulders got a little warmed up and fired up from that. So, thank you, Selena Gomez's trainer, for that. I likes it. I likes it. 
Now, if you're a beginner and can't seem to just hold up your arms like that and balance yourself out, then that is totally fine because you can either grab the wall, your couch, or a chair, or anything really to help you to not tip over while doing these. So don't worry, there's always modifications for you if you need them. After we completed all those moves, we moved on to a little bit of yoga, which is my favorite because I love yoga. We're gonna start with the most basic, well, I don't know if the most basic, but the most common yoga pose, which is a downward dog. And you push back. So we're gonna bend our arms, bend our elbows, bend our knees, go up to an upward dog, push back into a downward dog. Woo! For the modification, you're just gonna pull forward to a plank and push back to a dog. Okay, ready, Anna? We're gonna do 10. Okay. If you guys don't do yoga already, you guys are missing out and I highly, 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 highly recommend adding yoga at least once a week into your workout routine or workout schedule. Well, I'm going to just tell you, yoga does not just burn calories and tone your muscles, okay? It's a total mind-body workout that combines not only strengthening, but stretching poses with deep breathing, which I absolutely love and do. Because like I said previously, stretching is super, uber, uber, uber important. So I really love the fact that she added in this little mini yoga routine into our 30 minute workout, which I just, <laughs> Selena Gomez is trainer, you're awesome. Good, breathe, drop your shoulders, activating through those fingertips. After finishing up doing a little bit of some yoga work, we moved on to doing some arm work for a little bit, which I, believe it or not, enjoyed doing and plan on doing as a little warm up for my upper body days, just because it got my shoulders and arms all warmed up after having them up and moving for so long. So I'm definitely going to start doing that. And all she did was have us move our arms up, move them in circles, and then pretend like we're grabbing stuff to the left and then to the right and just literally have our arms up and moving and just staying up there like the entire time like don't put your arms down oh my gosh it's like a killer like what but after completing all of that arm work we moved on and finished with a little bit of some ab work which let's be honest i lack in the ab department because <laughs> your girl hardly ever trains abs so doing these couple of ab movements definitely had my abs sore the next day so so yay for training abs. But that about wraps up this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It was definitely different, it was fun. I honestly enjoyed giving a review over a celebrity's workout, especially Selena Gomez. Like, come on now, Selena, come on, yeah, you got to. I definitely plan on doing some more if you guys are up for it and are wanting to see more videos like this. So please, please, please give this video a big old thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it and want to see more like this, I would seriously appreciate it. But I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all go to self in the next one. Bye. Bye baby, tu sensualidad. Oh.